Hi guys, in this video we will move to the next subtopics of the algorithm, namely the characteristics of the algorithm, qualities of an algorithm, representation of an algorithm. See, if, if, uh, if this algorithm asks for two marks, you have to write this definition of an algorithm, the first topic, which consists of the definition, characteristics and an example of an algorithm. Okay, this is what you write for two marks. Whereas if the same question algorithm is asked for 8 marks, we have to write characteristics of an algorithm, qualities and representation with a definition of an algorithm. In this case, it is, uh, it is, it is enough that you write the definition alone because you want to explain other 3 topics in detail, right? So, for 8 marks, only the definition and followed by 3 subtopics, okay? Now, in this video, we will see what are the three subtopics? Okay, this is the characteristics of an algorithm which consists of the simple six characteristics. First one is each and every statement should be precise and unambiguous. Every statement has to be precise. Precise in the, in the meaning it has to be short and simple. Unambiguous means it has to be clear. So every statement in an algorithm has to be short simple and clear okay the second point the statement formation should be in normal english okay every algorithm has to be in normal english it has to be written in sequence instruction of an algorithm should not be repeatedly should not be repeated infinitely okay they mean to say instruction should not be repeated and the next point is ensures that algorithm will terminate ultimately so every algorithm ha should have a termination step okay we have to get the desired output only when the algorithm terminates that is the sixth character i'll again repeat every statement has to be very simple short and clear statement should be written in english it has to be in sequence the instructions should not be repeated and the algorithm should be terminated we have to get the desired output only when we terminate okay these are the six characteristics of an algorithm next subtopic is the quality of a al good algorithm see there are five factors which determine the quality of a good algorithm okay we'll see one by one First is the time. To execute a program, the computer system takes some time. Lesser the time, better is the algorithm. So from, from easily can understand, for every program to execute, computer system takes some time, isn't it? Lesser is the time, better is the algorithm. An algorithm should not be the reason for the delay in execution of the program. Okay. Second point, memory. To execute a program, the computer system will take some amount of memory storage lesser is the memory required better is the algorithm similarly the memory occupied by the algorithm has to be very minimum okay how the minimum the algorithm better is the algorithm that is what they mean to say next is the accuracy accuracy of the algorithm should be obtained with proper declaration of variables and choosing accurate logic for the program accuracy can be obtained only when you choose a good when you declare the variables properly and choose a good accurate logic okay logic is the mother see because when your log logic is wrong or you are trying to solve it more dif with more difficulties then accuracy will be minimum isn't it so your logic should be very accurate and simple next is a sequence a good algorithm will have instructions in a sequential order okay next is the generability every algorithm must solve a single isolated problem and more often algorithms are designed to handle a range of input data to meet this criteria the algorithm must be generalized what do they mean by the term generalized see algorithm is that you write it only once okay but the when you convert it into a program, it has to accept wide range of inputs. Okay, it should, it, should, uh, it should not be restricted with one or two inputs. It has to handle 
wide varieties of input that is what they mean to say with generality the last sub topic of an algorithm is is the representation of an algorithm okay the, it discuss about the various ways you represent an algorithm okay first is a normal english second is a flow chart third is pseudo code fourth is decision table and the fifth is uh, is the program okay normal english is nothing but the algorithm must be represented in a sequential order in normal english so that it is easily understood in a, it can be written and read okay that is the purpose for writing the algorithm in normal english next is the flow chart next is the flow chart flow chart is a pictorial representation of an algorithm as you know pseudo code it is a formal design tool design utilized to represent an algorithm okay pseudo code is very much similar to algorithm okay it will have some other methods right which we will discuss later okay in the same unit okay what is the next one is decision table a decision table helps in designing a specific segment of design decision table is nothing but it will have a true false true and false will combine together will form false isn't it true and false i mean true false if you use or it will give you some other decision if you use and operator it will it will give you some other decision is it not that is nothing but the decision table okay using the boolean values you have to decide on the result with with respect to the operators either it is or a, or or and okay that is nothing but decision table similarly program an algorithm can be represented as a program using a high level language which becomes a program again okay so these are the five ways of representing an algorithm which is normal english flow chart pseudo code decision table and a program okay these are the five representation of an algorithm